On today's episode, Tesla breaks ground on their new lithium refinery. Elon says version 12 of the full self-driving software will be fully AI, and details on the Megapack facility that will power Giga Texas have been released. Tesla has officially begun construction of their new lithium refinery in Corpus Christi, Texas, after the groundbreaking ceremony this past Monday. The May 8th event was attended by CEO Elon Musk, as well as local and state officials, and we were treated to not only some great drone and satellite shots of the enormous site, but also some new details about the facility. The $375 million refinery is the first of its kind in North America, which explains why everyone is so excited for it. Battery-grade lithium is usually imported to North American companies, so Tesla is making the first big step towards a major change to the domestic industry. It certainly opens the door for more refineries to be built here. Aside from that, local officials are very happy about the amount of jobs this will bring. Tesla began hiring for this facility back in November 2022, and while the exact number of jobs this plant is going to be creating haven't been announced yet, early estimates were for at least 162 high-paying permanent jobs, as well as 250 construction jobs to actually build the place. And it's not just about the jobs or the novelty of having North America's first lithium plant. Tesla is also innovating the production process, and the May 8th presentation gave us a more detailed look at what the company plans to do. The conventional process uses a lot of dangerous and toxic chemicals. Tesla's idea is to use more stable reagents that don't produce much waste at all. And what byproducts it does make, mostly sand and limestone according to Tesla's engineers, can go towards other uses like construction. The whole mantra of this new refining technique is clean efficiency. Normally, getting pure lithium hydroxide, the product needed for lithium batteries, is a multi-step process. Refineries create the hydroxide, mix it with reagents to bind impurities, then turn it back into hydroxide again. Rinse and repeat until you have a pure enough product for battery manufacturing. Tesla is in a great position to streamline that process because this facility will only be catering to their needs. And so the goal is to not only skip this whole back and forth by producing an extremely pure hydroxide right out of the gate, but the reagents they will be using are very safe. Elon said during the presentation that you could live right in the middle of the refinery and not suffer any ill effects. And that design goal extends to battery recycling, which was also a big consideration for Tesla's engineers. The facility will be flexible enough to be able to process both raw materials and recycled mass. All told, Tesla's new refining methods should consume 20% less energy and use materials that are 60% cheaper than older lithium refining solutions, leading to what they've estimated to be a 30% lower cost on a per unit produced basis. And all of that is given extra efficiency by the facility's location, which is close to the deep water port at Houston, and will be built directly on rail for easy movement of products. As for the site itself, Earth-moving equipment was spotted in the background of the presentation, no doubt just showing off for the assembled guests, but the site did look worked already. The actual groundbreaking had happened a couple of weeks ago, but that's normal. The ground has to be prepared before an event can even take place. The first thing that hit us was the size of this place. Judging from the site plan, we can see that the facility is going to extend across a couple of roads and the small river that runs across the site which is located just south of Robstown. Using some rough measurements, it looks like this site will cover almost three square kilometers once it's done, which is about the same size as Giga Berlin's site. But from the look of the site, things seem to be already underway. You can see the work roads already in place, those dirt and gravel paths that will be used for the build crew and may or may not be made into paved roadways later in the construction. You can also see the first pads are being laid out, those earth movers may have just been for show during the presentation, but they were very much used to compress the ground in those wide, dark patches we can see from the drone shots. This is important to note because the next step is to build storage for the construction materials and to build the contractor offices where the project leads will run the operation from, and 
we've all seen how quickly Tesla likes to build. So after those essential pieces have been built, we'll likely see the foundations getting dug and then steel will start to go up pretty soon afterwards. During the event, Elon said that he believes the facility will be finished construction early next year, with production starting before the end of 2024, and that sounds likely. The buildings themselves will probably come together very quickly, it's the specialist equipment and chemical storage that will take the most time. And in the meantime, we'll have a front row seat to the construction of the very first North American lithium refinery. Tesla's next big patch for their full self-driving software started shipping to Tesla employees on May 8th, and while CEO Elon Musk says that this version 11.4 has enough major improvements to be called version 12 instead, he says that the title is reserved for an upcoming advancement to the network that will change everything about FSD. End-to-end -end AI. AI is a pretty nebulous term in tech these days, but it's important to note that the current FSD system does not use Tesla's AI algorithms the entire way through the process. Elon frames it as an in and out function. Currently, Tesla's FSD AI algorithms take in data from cameras and sensors and then puts out a 3D map for more standard pathing algorithms to literally take the wheel with. A new end-to-end -end approach would let Tesla's AI manage the whole process from taking in data to putting out steering and braking. There hasn't been much more than Elon's quick tweet mention, but this follows in line with what we know about Tesla's improvements to their network that was unveiled during AI Day back in September 2022. Back at that event, a big showcase for FSD showed that by making use of new Tesla computing hardware, the company's engineers were able to begin loading full simulators to train their FSD AI, and could even start planning for taking 3D visualization off the plate of the individual vehicles. The problem is that a lot of computational power is taken up by using the FSD AI to input the data from a car's camera and building a 3D environment from the pathing software. So, Tesla's engineers saw the power of their new hardware for Dojo and their networks and realized they could allow that work to be done by that gear rather than make the individual cars handle it. We can't know yet how exactly Tesla plans to pull this off, but it definitely seems like they're closing in on this goal. During the AI Day event, the company's presenters were very excited about this prospect, and it wasn't hard to see why. If version 12 of FSD is able to begin tapping into this sort of setup, then Tesla's work on their network is progressing very quickly. Work at Giga Texas is coming along, as more upgrades to the facility are breaking ground or coming online. One of the most important new additions to the gigantic factory is a dedicated megapack energy storage facility, the details of which were just discovered. Prolific drone operator Joe Techmeyer was able to dig up a filing receipt from the Lower Colorado River Authority, which documents the station's power capacity and number of units. According to the filing, Tesla plans on installing 68 units with a power rating of 131 megawatts. Some quick napkin math shows that this roughly corresponds with the Megapack's two-hour duration settings, meaning the entire station should be putting out about 262 megawatt hours or so once it's fully operational. That would make the Giga Texas battery storage site one of the largest Megapack installations in the world, and it could still be scaled up without much effort. The site itself started construction around mid-2022, the electrical switchyard itself will be laid out in three long bays and is intended to be hooked up to the solar panel array that's being built on the factory's roof. There's about 30,000 panels active right now, with a planned 70,000 panels once it's complete. That many panels could supply the megapacks with about 30 megawatts of power, but since solar energy is inconsistent, it's hard to get an accurate read on the megawatt hours. Using some meteorological data, some helpful community members were able to estimate about 375 megawatt hours per day on average once the roof is covered in panels. Not bad for running the factory and filling the energy storage yard. The original construction date in the permits shows that the installation should be finished by June 15th, but Joe's analysis of the site and document shows that they seem to be a little behind. That certainly happens with any construction project, but it's not likely to set Tesla back more than a month or so. This has got to be pretty satisfying for Tesla. The company has wanted to transition to fully self-sustaining energy for years now, 
Giga Texas requires a lot of power, and the Texas power grid is notoriously unstable. The sooner the switchyard can be completed, the better. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up today if you liked it. That is so important for getting our content out to more people. If you enjoy the content, then you'd probably also enjoy our weekly newsletter. So sign up with the link down below at theteslaspace.com. A huge thank you to all of our Patreon supporters who are listed on the screen now. You help us make the best content we can, and we really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.